Hi again. Today we're going to be doing something different. We're going to be cooking instead of baking. Some people have asked me for my recipe of arroz con pollo, so I'm going to be sharing it with you. I have my ingredients ready, and I also have my assistant, who if you're wondering why is he behaving like this, it's because I had to bribe him since he did not want to help today. So, and if you don't see him as often, that's why. So once again, if you have any questions, let me know, and if you miss any step of the video, just rewind it. We're ready to start, or at least I am. To start, I'm going to cook my rice. I will be using my rice cooker, but will also tell you the instructions in case you're using a normal saucepan. The type of rice I use is basmati. Unlike other types of rice, I don't actually rinse this one. If you're using others, or even this one, you can rinse it to remove the starch. So I'm going to measure one cup of rice to put in my rice cooker or saucepan. One cup. I measure the exact same way as I do with my bacon ingredients. Fill the cup to the rim, no more, no less. Next is the garlic. I already have frozen garlic cubes made, but uh, use about one medium or one big clove of garlic and add it to the pot. Now the onion. I normally use green onions that I keep in the freezer as well, so that way they last longer. But you can use any type of onion that you want. And I'm going to cut them into smaller pieces and make about one tablespoon of onion. There we go, all in our pot. Now let's add the salt. It's one teaspoon for each cup of rice. So since I'm using one cup of rice, we're gonna be using one teaspoon of salt. Okay, now let's add some turmeric or you can also use saffron if you have available. Since this is cooking and not baking, I am a bit more free with my measurements. I sprinkle about one teaspoon of turmeric or saffron, which gives it the yellow color. I also add a bit of curry. I sprinkle about half a teaspoon of curry so that it gives a bit of flavor but doesn't overpower the other ones. Now let's add the three tablespoons of olive oil. Here it is to measure our three tablespoons. Three tablespoons of olive oil. In it goes. Now let's start our rice cooker or turn on the stove to a medium heat and start mis mixing our ingredients together so that the rice mixes well with everything else and evens out the flavor. See? All mixed together.
So while our rice is getting hot, we are going to be measuring our chicken broth and our water. So we're going to be using one cup of chicken broth. Here we go, and our liquid measuring cup. There we go. One cup. And to this cup, we're going to be adding half a cup of water. Half a cup. Okay, and we're going to saute our rice a little bit more until the rice is hot. And once our rice is hot, we will add our chicken broth and water to it. Here we go. In it goes. So if working with a rice cooker, now we will be closing our lid and pressing the rice option. If you're working with a saucepan, let it boil and as soon as it boils, lower the temperature to a medium low and cover it up. Leave the rice there for about 15 to 20 minutes. Now while our rice is cooking, we will work with our meats. Cut your bacon in small pieces, whatever size you want. If you don't want to use bacon, you can also use hot dogs. Okay, now we will cut our chicken breast or boneless thighs in strips or in small cubes, however size you want. Okay, and now let's cook it. We're going to be putting this in our big saute pan. So start cooking the bacon first without any type of oil in your pan. Do it at about medium heat and uh, cook the bacon until it's fairly cooked but not crispy and it has released its bacon grease. Now, if your pan is big enough, push the bacon aside and make sure to separate the bacon grease on the other end. So let me strain a little bit of my bacon and push it to one side of my pan. And now let's add the chicken to cook in the bacon grease.
okay so now I'm going to be adding some salt to our chicken also some garlic powder some turmeric or saffron a bit of curry again and a bit of paprika and let's mix this until the chicken is cooked and then let's mix it in with our bacon Then turn it off and set it aside. Now let's look at our rice. It should be fully cooked, so let's stir it a bit. And now you can see how it looks. Mmm, yummy. So now we bring our rice to our chicken and bacon. And we are going to mix it all together. and add our steamed or cooked mixed veggies and stir it a little bit on low heat and then you will be all done There we go, here is our chicken and rice. So get yourself a plate and give it a try. This is pretty much how it looks. And you can pair it up with a salad or you can add some ketchup to it if you want to. Thanks guys for watching and hope to see you soon. Come on Jack, say bye.